Live S and Pro S softwares both allow you to capture a live event such as a match or a team sport game and tag it on the fly. In this tutorial we will see how to capture live. To do so, a video source must be connected to your computer. Let's jump into the live workspace to set it. The software will automatically detect any camera or video source plugged to your computer. Clicking on Setup will open the video source window. If your video feed comes from an IP camera, you can click on Rescan to detect it. To enable a camera, switch it on by clicking on the corresponding icon. Great! Now we see the live video feed coming from this camera filming the ice hockey game. Let's look at the settings. You can edit the name of the camera. Select a preset. Useful if you have several cameras filming the event from different angles. Or, just type a custom name and click, Apply. Depending on the type of video source you use, you may click on, Video Source, to adjust brightness and do some basic color correction. This way, if the image playback is too dark or too bright, you can already correct it now. Apply the following change and validate it. The recorded video will be saved as it looks now. If your camera allows it, you can also change the streaming format properties by clicking on video format. Then change for instance, resolution, frame rate, bitrate, etc. Please note that video playback will be deactivated until you close this window. We just changed the streaming format to improve buffering. If needed, we can also change the recording format by clicking on the edit icon, next to recording format. If you tick this box, you can even record the match at two different video formats at the same time. Useful if you plan to publish the video on a Dartfish.tv channel or on your Dartfish Smart Cloud. This way, you'll save time during the publishing process since you'll already have the right format to publish it. But, we won't do it for this tutorial. So now let's take a look at the destination folder of our recording. The path is indicated here. To change it, click on the browse icon next to the path. Remaining space on your drive is indicated as well as the estimated recording time. The match won't last more than two hours? Then why not set a time limit to the recording? Once the limit is reached, the recording will automatically stop, unless you already manually stopped it. Now that the camera is selected and that we're done with the settings, let's close the video source settings window and go back to the live workspace. Next to the source icon leading to the window we just closed, you will now find an icon representing the selected camera. Place the cursor on top of the icon to check the status of the camera. We can read that the device is streaming OK. Next to it, is an icon that indicates the remaining storage place on your drive. Anytime during the match, you can hover it and see how much storage space is left. Let's enter the title of the recording directly in the title bar. Then, let's write a short description of the event we are recording. We are now all set to capture live. Press on the red button at the top left of the workspace or use the shortcut to start the recording. Great! You're now recording the match within Dartfish 10. And that's it for this tutorial. In the next one, you'll learn how to tag live.